been trying to figure out uh, how the guy who failed four classes in grade nine got asked to speak at a TEDx conference in West Vancouver. <laughs> it seems all I really did was just go crazy and start complaining into a microphone. It's my claim to fame. Uh, because I was such a bad student in high school, I took grade 10 drama because I was told it's impossible to fail. <laughs> and what I found out was that I loved it, uh, especially improv and especially making people laugh. I actually, in grade 12, got an award for getting 95% in drama, uh, which is why I eventually went to university and took economics as a major. <laughs> This led to a lot of disharmony and multiple anxiety attacks until 2006 when I had what I call the big one. When I couldn't sleep for about two weeks, I had unbounded amount of energy and I thought I could speak Latin and that I was gonna build guitars for the rest of my life. <laughs> my friends and family got really concerned and I was brought to a doctor who sent me to a hospital where I was diagnosed with uh, bipolar mood disorder. And um, it didn't, it wasn't an excuse for being such a bad student in high school, but it made sense for a lot of things. Now, uh, bipolar mood disorder is kind of like suffering from depression and happiness all at the same time. Have you ever had to call your doctor when you feel good? That's what I do. It's like my mood is stabilized now by medication. I take four pills every morning to make me feel normal. And taking four pills every morning to make you feel normal is not the right first step to feeling normal at all. It's like, uh, if I get my timing wrong, I can start crying when I see a certain shade of blue that I don't like. Ma'am, your shirt's gonna kill me. <laughs> a little while after being diagnosed, I went snowboarding in Ontario. I felt way too good. I didn't check up with my doctor, and I ended up packing my car with everything I owned and uh, moved out here with lofty dreams of working on a ski hill and becoming a cool snowboarder type guy. I don't know if it was my snowboarding skills or not, but when I came out here, people found me to be the funny guy in the group again, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to be cool. And at the end of the year of working at Cypress Mountain, my boss made me MC uh, the staff party, and I found out that, uh, hey, I love making people laugh. So I enrolled in another economics class. <laughs> I procrastinated for quite a bunch of months and uh, finally did a Google search to find out where I can start doing comedy in the city. And uh, I was off. And it wasn't until I had uh, a lot of anxiety before a show uh, that I started talking about it on stage, and much to my surprise and chagrin, I got some of my biggest laughs ever. Uh, people came up to me and told me how uh, much what I talked about resonated with them. And one person even called me inspiring, which is the wrong thing to say to a bipolar person. <laughs> I, still, uh, I still have a crazy struggle with my ups and downs. Um, but since I've got into stand-up, I've had a lot less anxiety attacks and feel that I am uh, much aligned with my younger self who just loved making people laugh. And if you didn't think that this was funny enough, you should come to a comedy show. This is very serious business. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Uh -huh.